Question number four. We're given the position as a function of time for a locomotive, a train moving along a straight track. And the question is, at what time will the net force on this train be equal to zero? Newton's second law states that the net force equals mass times acceleration, where both force and acceleration are vectors. And in the problem, it's saying that the net force was equal to zero. Therefore, we're not going to have zero mass of a locomotive. Therefore, the acceleration is equal to zero. We know that acceleration equals the second derivative of position with respect to time. Therefore, we just take the derivative of our function with respect to time twice and then set that equal to zero. Taking the first derivative, we get 3t squared minus 2 times 6t, which just works out to be 12t plus 9. Take the derivative again, we get 2 times 3t, which just works out to be 6t minus 12. Add 12 to both sides and divide by 6, you get that the time is equal to 2 seconds. The correct answer is b.